Hey, good morning. Uh, we're going to do uh, just a quirky little thing uh, this morning where we're going to make sure that we're ready to handle empirical formula which aren't dimensionally correct uh, and still get the appropriate units out in our calculation. So I'm just going to set up here quickly. We're going to use uh, concrete as our example. So we're going to start with the compressive capacity uh, of uh, the concrete. Uh, so our F prime C in this case, and we're just going to make it say, I don't know, 30 megapascal uh, concrete. And so that's great. Now, typically uh, we calculate the modulus of elasticity for the concrete based on F prime C. Uh, and we do that in accordance with a clause that is given in the code. And so I'm going to draw that clause out from the code and we're going to put it in here. And so we have, oh, sorry, our modulus of concrete, 2500 times the square root of F prime C, uh, sub C. And when I hit the equal sign, you're just gonna see garbage because we get the right number out, but what we're not getting anymore is the right units. And so any further calculations we do using uh, the modulus of elasticity are going to have a problem with the units. And so the easiest way around this is just to do a slight modification to the formula itself uh, and make sure that we're getting out the right thing. So I'm going to repeat the formula. Let me just copy it up here. So we'll just grab that and we're going to copy it down here. And what I want to do now is uh, make sure that with M megapascals going in that we're getting megapascals out because that's what the code says. Uh, and so we're not just making this up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip the units out of the parameter that are coming in. Uh, and so I do that by dividing through by megapascals. And if I were to hit equals now, we're, we'd have a unitless uh, value coming out. And so we're partway there. And then all I have to do is on this coefficient is multiply it by the units that are supposed to come out of the formula. And if we choose megapascals again, we're going to get the right units out. And so we see our value coming out in megapascals. And so, you know, this isn't uh, that complex, uh, but it can be a little intimidating. The first time you run across it, you go to use one of these empirical formulas and you're, you're getting unit issues. And you're not really sure what you should be doing with it. So this is probably the easiest way that I found out is strip your units out on the way in and make sure that the output is in the right units coming out. And now this formula will work perfectly. Uh, even if we change our input units, this is still going to work out fine uh, because of the weight calculation units in the background. So hopefully that was uh, useful to you. Uh, and if you're dealing with uh, code issues, which have a lot of empirical formula, uh, you're able to use this to effect uh, to make uh, decent uh, fun functioning worksheets with all your units uh, in. So uh, good luck with that.